Corrupt cops often rely on intimidation to get their way. But watch how these officers get schooled one by one by brave law-abiding citizens. First, we have this officer who tried to overreach his authority, only to get humbled instantly. On October 31st, 2022, James Hodges, a legally blind Lake City resident, was walking home from jury duty when he was unlawfully harassed, detained, searched, and arrested by Officer Jamie Goatee and Sergeant Randall Harrison of the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. I appreciate y'all coming out. I appreciate you spreading light onto this. The only way to drive away darkness is to turn the lights on. Um, I've been in Columbia County since like 2009. This is not my first time running into the face of injustice, just trying to get along and do my thing. Um, I've had my ADA rights violated and I've learned how to suck it up, Buttercup. Unfortunately, uh, when social media started bringing this disease we have in our society to the public eye, I started getting exposed to it too. Don't eat them. It's astonishing to see how deep the corruption in local PDs has gotten, with this particular officer outright claiming to be a tyrant. So what's she stopping for? For a walking stick. So and it could look like a weapon. She asked you to really in it, okay? Now she's asking me for to ID. I don't need the ID unless okay. I have reasonable, articulated suspicion. And I have suspicion. committed a crime, and committing a crime, and or I stop to do a crime. Sir, and her suspicion was that you were armed, okay? And she's asking me for your ID. Well, now right. she has verified that I am not armed, okay? So there is no you problem. You ID or not? I do have my ID, okay. but you don't need it, okay? Okay. All poor and blind Hodges was trying to do was apply his rights, due to which the paper thin egos of these cops were shattered. I don't have a wallet on me. It's okay. Where's your ID? Where's your ID? Yeah. Pocket. Which pocket? You are not allowed to search me. Hodges tries once more to deny the officers the right of search. But of course, in their power trip, they completely overrule this order as well. Sir, are you legally blind? Yes, I am. Okay. I had to walk up here in the dark for jury duty, which was canceled. Why aren't you using your stick? You don't have to use your stick all the time? Well, not all the time. 26. Great. All right, Mr. Hodges. Was that that hard? It's gonna be. I want your name and your badge number. You know, I put yourself for resistance. Okay. All right, let's go. I want your name and badge number two, sir. You want to pick my property up, please? I sure will, after you have a seat. Despite doing nothing but jury duty, Hodges has to face this tyranny from cops, as all he does is ask a simple query which every officer is required to comply with. Under the law, these officers seem to think they are above it. After these events unfold, Hodges' lawyer, John Phillips, holds a press conference. So on October 31st of this year, when Jim was coming from jury duty, jury duty, he was harassed by Jimmy Goad, and it led to the video you've all seen. 
we can make it available to you. Uh, and, and so I, I've gone from, you know, one case in Clay County to two, to looking at multiple. Even on the way here, somebody sent me an email about wrongdoing um, in the detention center. And, you know, we've seen videos where police officers, sheriff's officers are taking what appears to be a tip or a kickback or a bribe. I've heard countless stories about uh, wrongdoing with the sheriff's office. I've seen it over and over again on camera. And we're going to be asking for the Department of Justice to come in and take a look at the wrongdoing. Phillips uncovers the true depth of the corruption in the Lake City area, further highlighting the alarming levels of discrimination. Uh, and the lack of discipline at Clay County Sheriff's, uh, sorry, Columbia County Sheriff's Office. Um, and certainly we filed a notice of intent to sue, which is available on the table, uh, to sue Columbia County Sheriff's Office uh, and hold them responsible. If you broadcast it, I think we've redacted his social security number, but please be uh, cautious of his, of his birthday and his social security number if you publish anything. It, it, it's, it, look, it, police protect us, and we depend on police to do a, a, a hero's job. But when they're poorly trained, when they abuse their power, it is the biggest breach of trust that our society has. And it often, too often, affects the disenfranchised. Uh, the African-American community, in this instance, the blind community. After making a strong speech, Phillips hands over the stage to other examples of discrimination in Lake City. It's unfortunate what happened to uh, Mr. Hodges. As a blind man, I mean, we fight all the time with uh, police issues within our community being black. And so it is very painful to see that on one hand, how hurtful it is to deal with law enforcement with being black and then now uh, being blind. Um, this is not only the tip of the iceberg. I think this was the straw that broke the camel's back. It is unfortunately that uh, law enforcement in Columbia County and Lake City does not have mandatory uh, psychological background uh, done on these officers, that we don't have citizen review boards, and that we're left to have to call on people like John. Thank God for people like John Phillips and his office that respond and, and help us to fight through these cases. But this shouldn't be happening. Uh, it shouldn't be happening to no race of people or no group of people. Uh, I think that police officers are held to a high standard. After the other citizens make some noteworthy points on maintaining police mental tests, it's the turn for the man himself. I might say a word. Um, had a whole bunch of stuff to, in my head that I wanted to talk about. I'm not a great orator, and I got my excuses for that. Um, I appreciate you all coming out. I appreciate you spreading light onto this. The only way to drive away darkness is to turn the lights on. Um, I've been in Columbia County since like 2009. This is not my first time running into the face of injustice, just trying to get along and do my thing. Um, I've had my ADA rights violated and I've learned how to suck it up, buttercup. Unfortunately, uh, when social media started bringing this disease we have in our society to the public eye, I started getting exposed to it too. Um, and I made up my mind that, well, I've always been the kind of person that don't really take things lying down, but I made up my mind to properly, and it is the law in Florida, that you are supposed to resist unlawful orders. So I made up my mind to properly, legally, and as maturely as possible, given the circumstances, to fight back with the only tools that I have, that being a severely damaged brain. Trust me, my friends will tell you that. Again, thank you for coming out. I'm sorry that I have to be the one bringing this to your attention again. Hopefully we all can get together and make the changes in our society that keep us a community. Thank you and God bless. Despite all Hodges has had to endure with just trying to be an upstanding citizen, 
Even at this point, he is hopeful and has a positive message for his neighborhood and county. I saw this video. And look, we can, we can use the words, fortunately, Mr. Hodges wasn't shot. Fortunately, Mr. Hodges wasn't physically injured. But you know what? He was the victim of constitutional violations. And whether you're Republican or whether you're Democrat, we're all supposed to believe in the US Constitution and want to see it enforced. And it was not. And if we keep hiring the same officers and don't listen when they commit abuses and don't react and give press statements that say, okay, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna investigate this. Well, it's time that somebody besides the Columbia County Sheriff's Office investigates Columbia County Sheriff's Office. And we're gonna start with a federal judge. Uh, we're gonna hope the DOJ comes involved. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, ask our, our, our elected officials to step up. But this is, you know, this is the, this is the problem when, when you have, you know, repeated issues and, and, and I, I'm just learning about them, right? It, you know, it, it's easy for me to get back in my car and go back to Jacksonville. Um, but, you know, we're, we're looking at Bradford Sheriff's Office. We're looking at St. Lucie's Sheriff's Office. We, we've got to, we've got to have you know, standard law enforcement. We've got to have some level of, of citizen review or, or, or citizen input. And, you know, change is the, the first definition of justice. Certainly, there are some government agencies and some businesses that only respond to civil judgments. We're going to go for that too. But, you know, it shouldn't take taxpayer money for tax paid officials to respond. And, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna seek change. We're going to seek accountability um, and, you know, use the, the civil justice system as, as much as we can. The criminal justice system has uh, dismissed the charges. OK, that's that was a start. Thank you, I guess. Um, but it's, you know, we're going to we're going to use every every tool within our our control to, to fix this. Phillips iterates how the justice system has already helped acquit Hodges of the fabricated charges, but he is hopeful and determined to hold accountability. It's already filmed right now. I mean, this, your video, I, everyone knows about it. It's, it's viral, right? Um, how are you feeling now? I know these deputies are fired, and, you know, and I heard justice already right now. Well, I'm feeling blessed. Um, people in enough people care um, you ask what people want to see you know I, I I have a always stated for many years that it amazes me that an individual has to go to school for a, a length of time you know four years eight years sometimes 12 years and then the first thing they do is they go out and get an insurance policy before they put their shingle out. Um, it bothers me that we're willing to give people a pass that have maybe six months training and a nice clean record. I think qualified immunity needs to be relooked. Although. This may be considered as an isolated incident. The fact of the matter is that Lake City had been dealing with a grassroot of these corrupt cops. So Phillips beautifully explains the measures needed to be taken. However, as much as we wish and believe for things to go the way we imagine, reality often has other plans. Instead, Harrison was demoted and suspended without pay for seven days. Gody was suspended without pay for two days and both are going on civil law training. It's like they put a band-aid on a bleeding wound. What are you laughing at? It's not my car! It, it is your car, you're no, driving I, no, it. No, but it's not my car. You are driving it. It's not my All the car. On April 12, 2014, a man is simply trying to take his son for a surgery and checkup, but astonishingly gets pulled over three days in a row. Not just that, but also at the same exact place for the same exact reasons. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? Good. It's in full space. Do you have a driver's license, registration, insurance code? Do you know you guys pulled me over in the same exact spot three days in a row? 
Really? Three days in a row. I was unaware of that. And now you're going to give me a warning, too. Let me guess. My license plate, right? The no. little thing on the bottom? No, absolutely not. What'd what I do? What happened? Put your blinker on when there was nowhere to turn. Well, that's because I saw you there, and I wanted to make sure you saw my blinker I, making I the left. I you got nervous. So you saw no, something. No, yeah, yesterday, I am nervous. Said we didn't use I am blinker. nervous. All right, I need to see your driver's list. Your I am nervous. I'm nervous, and I'm you. pissed off. That's this what is I harassment. It is harassment. It is harassment. You guys sit here. Don't you know guys, you. Well, you do know don't me, because here's another guy here yesterday, three days in a row. Why would you both pull up on me like this? My son came to get surgery, man. I'm glad you got me on video, because I have a video camera in the car, too. The apathy this cop seems to display is nothing out of the usual for these bullish cops. That's fine. So then you guys know that you did this three days in a row. How would I know? I don't because know you. Because you got cameras. I wasn't the officer that stopped you. Got cameras. So is this your procedure? Thank Come you. on. Come on, yeah, man. Right. Fucking disgusting. Is this your sergeant? I'd like to see your sergeant. Do you have another insurance card? Yeah, I'm sure I do. This isn't my car. It's my grandmother's. The officer ran it yesterday and it was fine. Take that. Hey, can I have your sergeant present, please? Please? Three days in a row you guys got on camera. Do me a favor. Step out of the car. I'm stepping out of the car. You're asking me to step out of the car? Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Oh, are you kidding me? Step out. Are you kidding me right now? On what premise? On what premise? I'm being violated right now. My Fourth Amendment right is being violated right now. My Fourth Amendment right. My Fourth Amendment right is being violated. You're in front of my son. For what? Resisting? Yes. Step out of the vehicle. I'm resisting an arrest that you're about to that you're about to harass me now. All right, you'll hear from my lawyer. They escalate the situation needlessly and threaten this innocent man with arrest for resisting, despite having committed no crime. This is harassment. Do I know you? Do I know you? I don't care if you know me. I'm, I feel threatened right now. I don't know you. Where's your three proofs of ID? Oh, really? Where's your three proofs right here? I need more. That's why I need more. Where's your Where's your driver's license? You know what? what, what I know. What? I know my. Listen, I, I know, know your right. right. So yes, I know I you're do. an attorney. I know. How do you know I'm not? How do you know I'm not? Oh, oh you are? Do you have ID on you? You have ID on you. I do have ID. I'm in. Well, I'm in a. I'm in a market. Three days in a row. If you were pulled over in the same spot and arrested while your son had. I don't know you. I don't care if you know me. You're. Well, I'm telling. I don't you know work you. For, you work for is this, us. Is this your son? How old that is, is my son. You're gonna, and I'm gonna, you're gonna do that? Absolutely. You're gonna do that right First of, of all, my son? grandfather was a chief of police, retired. My uncles are in the bed. who you are. But you sitting there and harassing people where as they're coming off the where highway? You, where are you coming from? Please? Why do I have to answer your questions? You don't. Absolutely, you don't. I don't. You don't want to answer? Don't answer. You're out of your mind. You're out of you your mind that you harass people. Hey, you know what? Here's all of our stuff. No, you find it. What are you kidding me? You find your insurance You find your insurance card. You find your insurance card. You should be ashamed of yourself. What okay. you should do. What do you got to meet? You called it? Yeah, called it. Called it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, really? yeah. You should? Yeah. You should? Yeah. You think I don't know my fourth human rights? You pull me out of my car and harass me right now? You got your mind? What are you laughing at? It's not my car! It, it is your car. You're no, driving it. No, but it's not my car. You are driving it. It's not my All car. All the tickets for that are going to go to you. I don't give a shit. Okay. I obviously get harassed every time I come up to you by you guys. So where, where's your sergeant? That's what I want on scene right now. Unfortunately, you're not the dictator, and you don't say what you're, you You're want. not a dictator either. You right? work for us. Shut your mouth before you get locked up. Yeah. Do what he says. Do what he says, and we'll handle this. Don't you worry about it. Very close. I'm upset. Do you understand? That? I understand you're upset, but I don't know. I, you don't understand. I didn't know who you were before I stopped you. Okay, I didn't know you were stopped two times prior. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't and you stopped him for putting his blinker on before yeah, before we made the left the blinker on where there was nowhere to turn because your officer said yesterday that I didn't do it till the second I saw you I put my blinker He tries to reason with them to some degree but to no avail all he got in return was a cop who wouldn't let go of his argument and a snarky officer laying out childish and immature remarks no, thank they you. tell the situation, but you're I getting did. all hyped no, up. No, you weren't here when you pulled up. Okay, on well, you're it's getting on this. Camera. You it's would on probably camera. would have been on your way by now. But I'm pissed okay. off. Okay, okay. he's in a row. So, my son's so, having surgery, and I have to bring him back. Tell him. Tell him. He did tell him that. He did tell him that. He did tell him that. And he ignored me. I don't know. He ignored us, and we told him that. You're getting tough and aggressive because you're pissed off. But I can't get tough and aggressive. Exactly. Write me all the fake tickets you want. The snarky cop tries to escalate the situation one more step, but after finding out the situation with the driver's son's surgery, the officer seems to back off momentarily. Right, I'm not gonna write you summons. 
I understand people don't like us, but I didn't I, know. I, I, I respect you, I, and I, I love I, it. Listen, Three days in a row, I like know, I said, my, I, uncle, I didn't know my cousin stopped. died on 9-11. He was a Port Authority cop. I know, cop. you're not letting me my, speak. Because I'm upset. I know, you, but you I didn't know. You never had a bad day? Didn't know. I understand. You had a bad day. No problem. You understand? And then, and then I have and then I have him bucking up. When the both of you are in uniform and he's a both aggressive towards somebody. Not aggressive towards you. That's aggravating. And it's assault because you have a gun. I have it recorded, sir. I have it recorded. Because I have a gun, I'm, I'm a gun. And you're both in costume. And you're both in costume. Costumes? Yes. Yes. Don't tell me I don't know That's... the law. You're, you're telling me, am I a lawyer? We're, we're in costumes? This is a uniform. Yeah, but you're disrespecting it by, disrespect by pulling out because I look nervous. I understand you have a job no, to do. Your signal on. Because okay. the past two days that you pulled me over, that was the gentleman's response. I didn't over. I didn't know who you are. Officer, I'm sorry. I had a bad day. I had a bad day. I'll take that. I had a bad day. What, what I'm saying is practice a little more discretion with people sometimes. Especially this boy here. Well, he, he, Discretion. Now he got pissed off. He came up to me and threatened to put me in handcuffs. You're not allowed to speak. There's no freedom of speech. And then, you, and then you take my... That's true. That's right. But then you take my Fourth Amendment rights away and you pull me out of a vehicle. Because of the way you're acting. Because I'm pissed right? off. Or you're hiding something. I don't know. But, but that, see, then you become right. a detective. No. Yeah, yeah I, I was a detective, yes. Okay. Yes. But now you're not. Now, you, now you're just in came, uniform. I just came out of the detective bureau. But now you're in uniform, sir. Right, my job is to find out what you're doing and why you're doing it. I'm leaving the and, doctor's and office with my son, and I, did, and I didn't do anything right, wrong. I will. This brave man holds his ground and asserts the facts of the rights the officers broke. They tried to get out of it by making it seem they were doing the driver a favor, but it's him who let it go with a handshake. Some cops clearly don't deserve the badge, since they haven't the first idea about the weight of the responsibility it carries. Those who view it as a means to power should never have it in the first place. This next case shows exactly that. On January 29, 2021, SWAT agents Shipley and Robinson from the San Bernardino PD ran what they would describe as a routine check, but it turned out to be anything but that for Quinn Bass. How you doing? Is there a reason why you guys are pulling me over? Yeah, you were speeding. I wasn't speeding. What's, speeding. what's the emergency, sir? I'm not running the window, sir. Like, we're not going to play these games with you. I'm not going to play. I just want to know what the emergency I'm is, sir. I'm for speeding. I was not speeding. Here, you you? Okay, I'll give you my information. Yeah. You want probation or parole? I'm going to give you my information, sir. Hold on. I'm not committing any crime. I just want to know why, why, do you, why do you guys have your emergency lights on? What's the emergency? I just told you. You're being, you're being stopped because you were speeding. Are you recording this, please? Yes, we are recording. You are recording. License registration, please. Here's your, here's your information, sir. I got you right here. From the fact the officer tries to yank the door before first contact, and from body language seemingly looks agitated, as he argues with the bass about alleged speeding. I'm just showing. I'm ask you to step out of the vehicle. Here, I'm not. I don't want to step out of the vehicle because no, I feel like I'm under the arrest. I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle. I don't, I'm, Listen, either step out of the vehicle. I'm gonna break the glass. Can you please have your wash commander show no, up? Step out of the vehicle. I would like to have your wash commander show up, please, sir. Don't break my window. I'm asking. Please, right now, sir, don't break my window. I'm step recording out. this for my own safety. I'm I'm under the arrest. Please do not break my window. I didn't commit a crime. Step out of the vehicle, sir. I did not commit a crime. I will step out. Under the arrest, please. I'll step out. Of okay. Arrest. Please step out. I will, please. I'm giving you three seconds, sir. If you don't step out of the vehicle now, I'm going to break the glass and you're pulled out. The officer is simply feeling threatened because he looked over towards his other window is absolutely crazy. Coupled with the fact that he doesn't even take the time to check his information is just blatant evidence of planned malice and racial profiling. Yo, I'm, I'm doing it right now. Sir, one. One. Please, I'm not resisting. Can you record? Somebody record! Somebody record Somebody record this! 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 
Cops, nevertheless, go along with their buddy on his power trip and pin Bass to the ground, along with the shattered glass from his own window. If the cuts from the glass weren't enough, they also managed to break his elbow. Unfortunately, Quinn was unable to lodge an official lawsuit, but the case remains an ongoing investigation, having been taken notice by the sheriff's office. He does, however, have a GoFundMe to fight this case. Next, a citizen's legal knowledge comes in handy when a corrupt officer tries to enforce a rule that didn't exist. You gotta have that temp tag down, man. Huh? Temp tag needs to be down more. Uh, this is okay. 625? Why don't you just sit in the car? What'd I do? 625? Sit in the car. Please. Get in the car. That's elite. That's expired, is it not? What did Sit I do? in your car. Sit in your car. Sit in the car. Right, I'll, take, three, I'll take your license and your proof of insurance. Hey, I need your license I mean, and proof of insurance. Your temp tag is expired. Can I be any more clear to you? I got the registrations right there. That's what I was trying to tell you. You need to have license plates on your car. Give me your license and your proof of insurance or you're going in handcuffs. Jindra accused Brown of not having a license plate while a temporary tag was visible on his back windshield, thus making his detainment illegal. No, no proof of insurance. At last one, maybe a third of Franklin. They don't believe there's a VP at third Nicholas. Yeah, about uh, third Franklin. All right, step on the car. Happy. Throw the train flag back. In 5050, start the basketball. Happy. Why are you driving without a license, man? Huh? That's kind of stupid, isn't it? Happy. Huh? Let's go. You got anything illegal in the car? It's pretty feet. After handcuffing and placing Brown in the back of his patrol car without any legal reason to do so, Jindra proceeds to illegally search Brown's car. The officer finds a substance that he wraps up between dollar bills he stole from the driver's wallet. He does so while keeping the substance outside the view of his body cam. Both items were collected from the vehicle, but this little folded bunch would come back to haunt him. You don't know? No idea, huh? What would you guess at me? You have no, no idea? On right here, weren't you? Yeah, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back, right now. Put them on.
your buddy said that and the door is yours. Jindra goes on a power trip, arresting an innocent bystander for filming the whole thing, pinning what he found in the car on him, lying that Brown told him so. Sorry, I'm sorry, what happened? Nothing happened. That... Get back. Get back away from me. What's mine? Wait. What's, what's Stop mine? Moving. Stop moving. What is mine? Stop. I just, officer, I'm just asking because I just came to meet him. That's okay, you can stand back there. What is mine? <laughs> Get out of here. I'm sorry, I'm done. What is mine, sir? What is mine? What is mine, sir? Is that cocaine in your door? Hell no! What the fuck? Cocaine in the door? Hell no! How you say something is mine? Dude, just relax, okay? Well, how you say something is mine? Ain't nothing in mine. Relax. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, how can you say something is mine? Ain't nothing in mine. What the fuck? Okay, hey, just give me one second and he's gonna go with you, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I don't like when people walk up to me. Okay. Step back here. What the fuck? What do you mean mine? Well, it's either yours or his, right? No. Hey, nothing's mine. Hey, nothing's mine. I'm gonna cuff you. You're gonna walk away from me, okay? I'm gonna cuff your buddy. I don't know what was going through this dirty cop's mind. First, he arrests them without any evidence. Then he proceeds to free them. When I tell you to put your hands behind your back, you put your hands right behind your back, okay? All right, put your hands on your head. Put your phone on top of that thing. I need to get my hands down there. All right. On top of that garbage can. I need to Step out here. 980, repeat your traffic. You're transporting two. Put your license plate in your window. Put your license plate. Put your license plate, son. That's why I was calling. I just got it. Put your license plate, son. That's why I was calling. I just got it today from my brother. I was just doing it. That's why I was trying to explain to you that the plates is in the registration. It's all right there. All right. Can I show you? I'm going to give you a. Let me give you a break. You have the license, you know that, right? Yes, but I was just using my brother's car. Can All I right. show you the plates? Go ahead. I'll, I'll show you. My, the guy who bought the car from me told my brother, he said, don't put them on until... June 2nd. He said, don't put them on until... Well, it's July. Oh, well, yeah, I know, but he been having a car sitting. All right. Brown was very cooperative, even when he knew the cop was a tyrant. At the end, both men were let go, but Jindra got himself into deep trouble. Now what Jindra did in this whole incident was that he targeted someone he thought might have drugs. People who carry substances won't complain to the police if an officer steals it from them. And that's exactly what Jindra did in this case. And this wasn't the only time he was caught doing this. From September 2017 through October 2019, he had illegally stopped cars or individuals and taken drugs off them and not presented them back at the PD like he was supposed to. He even failed to make an official report about his findings. The reason for him not doing that was the fear that the stop itself would be a big red flag once the footage was reviewed. As part of his scheme, Jindra diverted controlled substances he lawfully recovered for his own drug addiction. On November 2, 2021, following a 10-day trial, Jindra was convicted of three counts of acquiring a controlled substance by deception and two counts of deprivation of rights under color of law. Jindra was sentenced to 38 months in prison followed by one year of supervised release truly a disgrace to his PD and his community. As the last cop enjoys his time behind bars, likely with people he's put in, this next case has a village attorney teaming up with his goons in a First Amendment tussle. Excuse me, uh, Rich. No. Excuse me, Rich. You have no authority to stop me. Please move out of my way. No. Please move out of no. my way. And don't get so close to me.
Long Island Audit Sean decided to pay a visit to Port Jefferson Village Hall to exercise his rights of recording in a publicly accessible taxpayer-owned government building. But right as he enters, he meets an obnoxious attorney that has no decency for personal space. I can help you, sir. Hi, how are you? Can I help you? Uh, who, who are you first? I don't know if you I can help me. I said, can I help you? I, how, how do I know if you can help me? Can I don't know who you are. Me? Yeah. Can you just walk around videotaping the building? That's exactly what do I'm that. doing. You can't yeah. do that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, like, who you are you? Why are you being... Leave now. Why are you being this, so hostile? This is a public building. We can't have people taking videotapes of this. I don't know what your intentions are. <laughs> what do you, you mean? You can get any documents why? showing the plans of this building. You're going to have to leave. Why, why are you being so hostile? Now. Who are you? Why are you being so hostile for it? Because you're not listening to me. I don't need to listen. Who leave. are you that I need to listen to you? We'll have the police here escort you out there. What do you? Who are you that I need you to listen leave. to you? I'm I don't understand. So you should. So you should be very well and aware. Yes, I am. That's why I'm telling you to leave. No, you should be very yeah. well aware. No, I'm not. You don't. You don't intimidate me, sir. Sorry. I'm intimidating you. I'm telling you the law. You don't You're intimidate. Clearly, this attorney is uninformed on the law. It's disgraceful that he's even the village attorney, despite being so uneducated. How are you doing this? You know it. You know better than that. Do you want to answer my question? Do I need to? No, I don't want to answer your question. You're being very rude. Understood. Yeah, you're dismissed. You don't need, I don't need to talk to you anymore. You're being very rude. You're not going any further. You're not going you're, any further. You're not this gonna is a secure courthouse. You're not going any further. This is not a secure you're courthouse. You're not going upstairs. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need you to move out of my way. I'm going to need you to move out of my way. It's not happening. You're gonna stay out of my office where we have sensitive files. <laughs> what is your problem, man? You. Okay. And so, what you're doing. And what I'm doing. Great. So you need to just calm down, take a chill pill, and go back in your office and get back to work. Right? Don't tell me what to do. Okay, don't tell me what to do. I'm, I'm walking around here. Thanks. Thanks. This man-child attorney decides to get up in Sean's face, but he's been tried and tested with this intimidation tactic multiple times. You don't want me recording you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's my right, just like you're saying, you know. Don't touch yeah. me. You can walk wherever you want, sir. I'm telling you, stay back. You don't intimidate me at all. Oh, you yes, have a I bad do. attitude. request, Mr. Attorney? Intruder. <laughs> Intruder. <laughs> Secured areas, right? Mid thirties. Yeah. They give everything around. Mid thirties. No. Mid thirties. Thirty years. Not only did he call Sean an intruder, his biggest insult was calling that Sean was in his mid thirties. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good. Did he um, ask you what you're doing? At this point, I'm not going to answer any more questions. Okay. Uh, we're going to ask you to leave. I understand. Okay. And if you don't, we're going to call the police. Well, R Richard already took care of that. Uh, yeah, Richard called the police. Here, sir. My intention is what exactly what I'm doing here. What Film me. What is your intention? To come out of here and act like an a-hole? Why? What's the purpose of that? Now we're getting, now we're getting rude, huh? Well, now we're getting rude? You already, you've been rude, my friend. You've been rude. You've been rude. Now we're getting rude, right? Excuse me, uh, Rich. No. Excuse me, Rich. You have no authority to stop me. Please move out of my way. No. Please move out of no. my way. And don't get so close to me either. <laughs> you're in my way of walking. So that's if right. you're gonna be in my way of walking, that's your problem, not mine, buddy. All right. So let's 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 calm down a little bit. Let's calm down a little bit. And I'm gonna walk right by here. No, you're not. You have no business in the building, right? I I, I do have business. What's in your the business? Building. I do have business what is in the, the building. Business? I'm not, right now it's to deal with you guys because I'm. you guys aren't letting me conduct my business. What's your business? You guys aren't allowing me to conduct my business. What's your business? Did you know that that's against the law to prevent somebody from conducting business What's in a public business? building? Mr. Town What's Attorney. What's your business? I'm trying to conduct it. What's that? I don't no, need to tell you. Circles. Get out. I don't need to tell you what right my business now, right is. Right now you're just bothering us and harassing us. How? I'm, I haven't said a word. You came out to speak to me, Mr. So Attorney. Richard. Secure offices. No, I wasn't. 
No. Instead of correcting the unhinged attorney, the security decided to take his side instead. The old cop probably had years of experience, but was still uneducated. Hey, Mr. Attorney, I'm trying to grab a FOIA request form from the clerk, but I'm not being allowed to. Isn't that a violation of, of public good, uh, public services? Yes, for legal advice. Isn't that, isn't that, a, I'm asking, you're gonna need it for your town. That's what you're gonna, for your village. For your village, you'll need it, because you're preventing me from, what do you want? I would like a FOIA request form from the court clerk. You know what that is? FOIA, Freedom of Information? Yes. Okay, I would like a FOIA request form from the village clerk. This constable here, at your direction, this constable here, at your direction, is not, is not, a, is denying me public services. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. I wouldn't want to deny public services to the public, right? That wouldn't be good. As soon as Attorney Richards came down those stairs, he felt like a different person. Guess he knew the law for denying a citizen public service. Excuse me. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? Good. I'm doing fantastic. That's Who are you? Who are you? I didn't say. I didn't either. You work for the public, right? No. No? No. Nope. Who do you work for? None of your business. Oh, okay. Who do you work for? Hey, how you doing, Sarge? How you doing? Yeah, this guy, he's been around too much. Now he's a little trolling. I heard about him. You heard about me? Oh, am I, am I, am I, am I famous? Yep. Yeah. Am I famous? Yeah, you can shut if you want to. Don't lock it, okay? If an obnoxious attorney wasn't enough, an obnoxious detective showed up to support him. What do you That's mean? That's not open to the public. What? It's what? closed for a reason, and now I'm going to ask you to leave the business. No, this is not closed to the public. This if it was, door was closed. I it, just walked past it. If it was closed to the public, sir, first of all, I don't need to talk to you. See ya. I don't need to talk to you either. I don't need to talk to you. You do what you want. Judge? I don't know who you are. If he tries to go in any of the doors that are closed, yeah. he gets locked up. Uh-huh. That's not open to the public. It has to it has to say no authorized personnel. Finally, we have an officer who thought he could intimidate a civilian into submission. But this well-informed individual turned the tables. Hello. How are you? I got you stopped your speed. My bad, bro. I appreciate it. Cincinnati. Okay, okay. Anything to drink tonight? Nope. Come on, if I check your eyes out. Yes, sir. Alright, bring your head out here just a little bit. Okay. Oh, tip my finger with your eyes on it. Yep. Man, how much you had to drink? Literally nothing. I took my friend home. All right, I'm gonna get you out. Make sure you're okay, driver. Okay. Step on. You know, your tags are expired as well. I, I know that already. I work for Cincinnati. You work for Cincinnati. And you got expired you got, tags. I, sh I showed you my badge. I know, but I'm saying you work for Cincinnati. And you drive around with expired tags. How long you work for him? About a year and a half. I grad. I, I started when I graduated college. All right. I'm gonna have you walk through the passenger side of my vehicle. You said walk to the pass. Yes. Sir. This side. What do you want me to start? Just walk back here. Just walk. Normal. Just walk? Yeah, normal. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know if you were doing the, if you're doing the, the, the step test or whatever. No, I'm going to do HGM. If officers can cruise around with expired tags, how can they have any right to enforce the laws on the public? The trooper then proceeds with field sobriety tests. All right, just stand right here. Face okay. out towards me. All right, have you followed tip this pen with your eyes only? Don't be your okay. head at all, okay? Do you have any recent head and or back injuries? My neck hurts, yes. Your neck hurts? Yes. Do you have any issues with your knees? Ankles My knees hurt, yes, too. Yes, sir. Take any prescriptions? No, sir. Seen a doctor for anything? No, sir. Glasses or contacts? Nope. Diabetic or epileptic? Nope. All right. Fall tip is kind of your eyes on your head at all. You can blink at any time. Okay. You know the process, man. I gotta hold I know, it out I know, there I know, too long. I know, I know the process. Like, I know it. All right. So, you know I gotta hold it out there for so yep. long. So you keep moving your head. Just keep it straight, man. It's, it's the light. Like, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep the light out of your eyes. Okay. Just follow to the tent, all right? Yep. 
<laughs> me and my friend were at my boy's house and we literally, I dropped him off just now. Okay. And we literally, I was literally taking me and my girl home. That's literally it. Justin could literally not stay quiet and kept moving his head during the first test, failing it miserably. So nothing to drink at all? No, sir. So if you pull in a portable breath test, it'd be triple. I refuse all that. You can call your sergeant if you want to. I don't need to call my sergeant. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, my I'm sergeant? just saying. But like, I had literally have had nothing to drink. Nothing to drink, and it would be triple zero. Nothing. Right? You, me and you both know how it goes. I know how it goes. Yeah, me too. And you've been drinking. I have not. You have. I can still smell it on you as you're talking. You, you cannot you. smell anything on me. I can smell, I can smell, smell gum to pack gum. No, I can smell a strong odor of an alcohol beverage. You cannot. I can't. Okay. Why would I make it up? Why would I pull you out of the car? I, I have no idea. I was speeding. Yes, if you want to run me a speeding ticket and uh, take it for my life. For my registration being expired, fine, that's fine. Okay. But you're not willing to pull in a portable breath test? No, sir. I want to put you through some more tests. I refuse. You refuse? Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands what, what, what test? Turn what? around. I will, I will do the test. His confidence left as soon as it came. That's now. I will do the test. I really just want to meet. Why, why are you trying to re You know how this goes. I man. know how it goes. That's, that's that's why I'm asking you why you're doing this. Like, I want to get Because I smell alcohol. alcohol. I'm, doing, I'm doing my job. Okay, I will do it. You want me to walk in the line? What no, no. Do? Don't walk away. I'm, I'm talking I'm, to you right I here. I start, started the line right you wanna, here. You, you want to walk on the, the crack of this line right here? Whatever you want me to do. That, that is obviously uneven pavement. No, I'm going to have you walk in front of my car. Okay, that's fine. Walk up here. How many steps? Walk up. Just walk. Regular? Oh, yeah. One foot in front of the other? No, what do you I'll explain it when you get up here. I'm going to have you walk towards my car. Okay, so just walk regularly. Yes, that's okay. what I just said. Start. What yes, you're going to do is take nine heel toe steps down the line. This is, I don't know if I can take nine steps, but I will try. They're going to be heel to toe steps. You'll be able to take nine heel toe okay. steps, all right? Unless you got Shaquille O'Neal's feet, you'll be fine. They don't okay. look like Shaquille O'Neal's feet. So nine is okay. You can go ahead and begin test. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Can I come back now? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Turn towards my car. Feet together. He failed the next test with flying colors. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020, 1021, 1022, 1023, 1024, 1025, 1026. I can't, my balance is off. All right, I, I, now you can stop, that's 30 26 seconds. Sec yeah, I'll right. about to say. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Are you serious Yes, sir, you're under arrest for operating vehicle. Here, put your arms together. Bring your arms back. Do you need another set? What'd you say? Do you need two sets on? No, I don't. You don't? I don't. Take your watch off and put your pocket on. This is a Rolex. All right, put it in your pocket, I don't want it. Any possession of your Rolex. Palms together. So, Even after arrest, Justin had the need to flex his Rolex. I'm sure he's not going to miss it behind bars. Justin was charged with an OVI. That's one less drunk cop on the roads. Unlike the last case, this cop got caught talking smack about his malicious arrest. Single-handedly wrote him enough tickets that they made him a habitual offender. <laughs> November 2022, Klamath County Deputy Bean pulled over a driver, Jason, who was returning him from the hospital since his father had suffered a stroke. Little did we know the malicious intent of this stop. What are you doing? Hospital? Back from the hospital. Great. You're not supposed to be driving. Must be driving. What? Yeah, I don't know. You have your ID? Do you have your ID? Yeah, why? You need to look at it. What? What? Because you're in violation. 
Jason had been driving on a suspended license, which prompted Deputy Bean to initiate the stop. However, under Oregon's revised statute, you are allowed to drive while your license is suspended or revoked if it is an emergency. Rushing your father to the hospital when he had a stroke qualified as much. Come on in. Hey! Oh, I was on the way. I was just coming. Kind of, Jess was down here. No, I turned, I was at the mall. And I turned around, and here comes Jason Roar. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's too good to be true. <laughs> I better greet him one more time. <laughs> oh, God, he's such a, he's such a prick. He's a prick. Oh, God, he's a prick. He is the biggest prick I think I've dealt with. All the time dealing with, he is such a dickhead. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was leaving it in both fingers out the window, you know. Oh, kill me! <laughs> like getting to tow your ass. After leaving Jason with the citation, Bean drives to his friend's place to gossip about what he's been doing. Both men started to make fun of Jason for reacting surprised after the citation. Tow your ass. Oh, he's such a dick. But you know what? He goes down and pays whatever. He goes down, probably pays a thousand bucks every time I give him a ticket. Because he's, he's, uh, because I single-handedly wrote him enough tickets that they made him a habitual offender. <laughs> <laughs> so he actually has to show up every time I write him a ticket now. Because he used to just like, he'd be like, look, I don't care if you he just throw it out the window or just throw it in the car. He's like, I don't care. And I just tag him, tag him, tag him, tag him. I, I don't know how much it's like, if you get him like six times in six months, for A violations, then they're then they're revoked. A uh, habitual offender. It's so always like, I don't care. I'll tag yeah. you tomorrow. So I, I tuned him yeah, up. Oh, oh. Giving tickets was a source of entertainment for this deputy. Jason was already going through hell while rushing his father to the hospital, only to be given a ticket by this <laughs> of a cop. Bean's statement about intentionally targeting Jason also checks out through his court records. They had a, uh, a stroke. Oh, really? It can have to a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what everybody's going to do with their dope now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, old Red. He apparently had, they, that's what they said. Oh, we're just coming from the hospital. How am I supposed to get back and forth? <laughs> not my problem. That really is not my problem. my problem. God. Oh, he's got some new tattoos. He's got a, it must be a different game or something he's in. But he's got like a, uh like the German red red insignia on his hand now. Oh. And tats all over this hand, like like from but they're like they look like 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 prison tattoos. They're really poor quality. Well, somebody around here is probably mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, well what's your name down? <laughs> probably with a yeah, dirty Meadows. needle. Meadows. Dana Meadows does tattoos. Does she? Yeah. And they're they're prison quality. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it before. <laughs> Is that right? Oh my goodness, right? Ah, uh, it's funny. Bean continued making derogatory remarks about Jason's appearance. But then comes the moment Bean realizes he messed up big time. And it's like called Goodyear. And they see, he goes, yeah, we'll fix it one time. Modern body cameras emit a beeping sound when they're left on for too long. Unfortunately, Deputy Bean's conversation is protected as a personal and private conversation under the Constitution. But is that enough to justify his actions and allow him to continue working in Klamath County? That's up to the public to decide. As of the release of this video, Deputy Bean continues to work for his PD. March 8, 2023, Bernalillo County Deputy Patrick Rael allegedly clocked a car going 68 miles per hour in a 50 miles per hour zone but his body cam would testify about his massive power trip on this occasion. Stay in your car. What? Get in your car. Why are you gonna take me, bro? Get in your car. What did I do? Why are you gonna take me, bro? Get in your oh, car. I'm threatening you. Dude, I have all my paperwork. Don't touch ah! the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude. Oh my God, he was not I don't care. Cut it out! I told you that my husband is not- What the fuck?
Stop! Cut it out! Stop! No, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Not even 20 seconds of conversation, and Patrick tases the driver. Turn around! Okay! The fuck! Turn around! Fuck you! Fuck you, pussy! Turn around! Fuck you! Turn around! Turn around, bitch! You stand back. Fuck you. You can talk to me no, after. Let me do it. Fuck you. Turn around. I'm around. Put your hands I'm around. Put your hands on your back. They're right here. All the way. That's my turn around. I got broad shoulders. Turn around. Fuck you. Film this shit, babe. Film this shit. We have kids. No, I didn't. Turn around. Shut the fuck up. Cuff me then. Fucking cuff me. Turn around. You're violating turn my your head. Right. You're turn your head around. Right. Turn your head around. I have the right to step turn out of my fucking vehicle. Turn your head Fuck around. You. I have the right to get out of my vehicle. You tased me. I was not a fucking threat. Turn Fuck. around. I'm around. Babe, close my fucking door. Fuck this. Go ahead. Arrest me. Fuck you, baby. Fuck you. I'm trying to keep her away from you. I understand you. I'm just trying to try to keep her back. Get my keys. Close the door. Just trying to keep her back from me. Go! You don't have to do it so fucking Get back This guy had no restraint whatsoever. The officer had no right to tase a suspect who was compliant. He just did it because he wanted to, and there is nobody who can stop him. Are you oh, here? Are you around? Hey, film it! Get back! What are you doing? Get back! Why are you doing this to my husband? Hey, I'm down. Fuck you in. I'm down. I'm down. This is ridiculous. You are out of my house. You are out of my house. I'm fucking perfectly calm, sir. Perfectly fucking calm. Get her calm down. Hey, calm down. Oh, I'm calm. I'm gonna you know calm Michael and, and I got you on video. You know Michael has been? Stand up, and you're getting in my car. Oh, hang on! Oh. Patrick had no decency. He tased the poor driver again just before his wife could start video recording. That's the kind of petty gangster we have in the police force. Textbook police brutality here. Okay, stand up. Please, I'm fucking literally fading in and out. I'm helping you up. Get up. Grab me on my head, man. Have a seat. Yeah, sir, please. Hey, oh, uh, you please a fucking have a seat. Oh, oh. And now this corrupt cop set his sights on the wife. No, sure. uh -uh. Turn around. Not today. I'm Turn sorry, around. I'm not. Turn around. I did nothing wrong. Turn around. Leave me alone. Turn around. Leave me alone. Turn I did around. nothing wrong. Turn around. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I did nothing wrong. Okay? I did nothing wrong. You're upset because I'm filming you right now. Turn around. I'm not. I'm not. I did nothing wrong. I have my kids to get back home to. Damn you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I didn't do anything. What the fuck? I didn't do anything. You're on a barbed wire fence. Get off. I did not do anything. Leave me alone. Help. Help. Help me. Help. Help. Help.
I can only imagine how much of a traumatic experience this might be for the kids. Hey, Bobby, why would... <laughs> this piece of shit in his place. Roughing up a mother of three, feeling all proud and power hungry. You can hear the muffled screams of the husband calling out this abusive cop. moments show just how powerful it can be when citizens know their rights and aren't afraid to use them. Watching corrupt cops get humbled by well-informed people is a reminder that knowledge is the ultimate equalizer. And if you enjoyed these satisfying takedowns, don't forget to see what happens when a killer is on the loose. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.